an osteosarcoma diagnosis does not mean amputation of the limb. Uh, it used to mean amputation of the limb many, many years ago. But in, in our current context, uh, most of the time, we perform limb salvage surgery, which means we remove the tumour and we reconstruct the limb, uh, be it the arm or the leg, uh, with a variety of uh, reconstruction techniques, both to reconstruct the bone and the soft tissue. Um, just to give some idea to this figure, I, I routinely perform surgeries for osteosarcoma, and I think in the last 10 years, um, I have perhaps done two amputations. How do we reconstruct the, the limb after we remove the tumour, which sometimes can be half the leg or half the arm or half the thigh, for example? As long as we can preserve the major nerves and the blood vessels to the leg or the arm, which means that we have a functional limb at the end of the surgery, a variety of techniques can be used to reconstruct the limb. In fact, uh, a convenient way of looking at these techniques is to classify them into biological and non-biological techniques. So biological techniques generally involve recycling of the bone or the use of something called allograft, which is like a bone transplant. Um, and of course, soft tissue reconstruction needs to be done, which involves sometimes muscle transfers, uh, essentially taking muscle with its blood supply from one area and filling the defect in another area. Um, for the non-biological techniques, the workhorse approach is, uh, the workhorse technique is the endoprosthesis or the megaprosthesis, or sometimes known as the tumor prosthesis. Essentially, this is a larger version of a hip or a knee replacement or a shoulder replacement, or even an elbow replacement. And there are many of these. Uh, you can customize, for example, you can replace the hip with half of the thigh, or even the whole thigh, uh, which is called a total femur replacement. Essentially, these are made of uh, metal alloys. And, um, you know, they, they, it's, a, it's a little bit like, um, if I were to give an analogy, um, how we build Lego blocks, and we can adjust the length in one, one centimeter or two centimeter increments. The, uh, this is purely for bony reconstruction. So we can reconstruct the bone and the joint using um, um, materials an, uh, analogous to joint replacement, i.e. cobalt chromium alloys, titanium, uh, highly cross-linked and ultra high molecular weight polyethylene inlays, for example. So in addition to the metalwork or the megaprosthesis or tumor prosthesis that we use, uh, soft tissue reconstruction is always necessary. And often this is not discussed adequately. It would be of tragic consequences to reconstruct the leg or the limb very nicely using a mega metal megaprosthesis, for example, and not have enough uh, muscle or soft tissue over it, not just from a functional point of view, but also from an infection risk point of view, the, the megaprosthesis or the tumor prosthesis or endoprosthesis, whatever you want to call it, has to be properly covered with uh, a good layer of muscle. And this is, this is one of the most important principles in uh, reconstruction, that the bone and the soft tissue reconstruction must go hand in hand and must be done by a skilled um, a team that is familiar with these type of surgeries.